Welcome to another episode of Todoist, Learning the Basics. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in this week's episode, we're going to be learning all about the wonderful world of shortcuts. Coming up next. So here we are within Todoist for Mac, and I'm going to be showing you all today how you can utilize shortcuts in order to make your life easier. Now, the cool thing with Todoist here is, and this is Todoist on the desktop. Now, some of what I want to show you might work for the, uh, or might work differently for the web version of Todoist and might work differently for the PC version. Uh, but what I want to show you here is some of the uh, cool little things you can do with uh, shortcuts in order to be quicker at uh, creating tasks for yourself. Now, if you go up here to your uh, menu bar up here, you'll see that you have several little things you can do up here, but it's very limited on what you can do. But with each one of these things that you can do up here in the menu bar, you have the corresponding shortcuts. Okay. Now, even with preferences, you have a shortcut here as well. So for instance, if you wanted to pull up preferences here, you just hit the command and then the comma and it brings up your preference window so you can find things quicker. But one of the best things that you can do here is instead of going up here to hit the plus and to add a note or a task, you can just do a couple things here. If you hover over this, you can go ahead and see that it says open by typing Q. So if I was to hit Q, it would open that up. But also if you noticed over here, in the preference window, it also said you can add a quick task by using command N. So if I hit command N, I'm still here at uh, creating a task here. Now, like I say, here you go, command N, and it opens up the same task as hitting Q does. So there's a couple ways you can go ahead and add a quick task to your Todoist. Now, with that being said, if you go onto the web and you are looking at todoist.com and you go to the support section of todoist.com, you will also find keyboard shortcuts within uh, Todoist Support Center here. And if you go through all of these, you can learn how you can quickly and easily uh, you like shortcuts to make yourself or make your life a little bit easier. Like for instance, add task is Q, add new task at the bottom of the list is a, a small A, and then add new task at the top of the list is a big A. You can also open search by using this criteria, undo last actions with U, manually sync by F5. Of course, that's only on Windows 10. So you see, you have all these different things that you can do here to make your life easier by utilizing shortcuts. Now, this episode is going to kind of be kind of short, but I just wanted to give all of you shortcut people out there who love shortcuts an idea that, yes, even with Todoist, you can utilize shortcuts to make your life a lot easier. It even shows you shortcuts that you can even utilize on Android devices. So just keep in mind, if you ever have any question about any kind of shortcuts, you can always go here to the support section of Todoist in order to find that. It's under the Todoist help section here and you can just type in right here, shortcuts. And click on the keyboard shortcuts and voila, you're there. So like I say, and I'll put a link uh, down in the description, but basically it's just support.todoist.com. And when you do that, it'll pull up this area here. And all you have to do is type in the search area for shortcuts. And when you do that, there it is. And voila. Also, another thing here, also, if you notice, when you pull up shortcuts, it also talks about text formatting labels and uh, due dates and times. So there's all kinds of different kinds of shortcuts that you can utilize. 
whether that be a two combination shortcut or just a uh, one letter or one um, character shortcut. So with that being said, if you like this video, please don't hesitate to click on the like button below. And if you want to see more of these type of videos in the future, please click on the subscribe button. And so without further ado, I want to wish you all an awesome day and let's become more productive. Thank you.